Hello everyone, uh, here's Francesco Ganora and in this new video I'll show you how to how to reuse uh, uh, share the data Java data model across different uh, neural applications. So reusing uh, data model is very important in integration because uh, normally uh, in ESP integration we use uh, domain objects uh, uh, and common data models that we want to apply across multiple integration scenario therefore multiple new applications uh, there are different possibility to to define these um, kind of data models we can define it directly in java uh, uh, which is used natively by mule or generate Java classes from uh, XML schemas or JSON schema. So, for example, if I start from XML schema, I can use uh, JAX-B uh, functionality to generate equivalent annotated Java classes. That's explained very well in um, this excellent article uh, from um, Mariano by Mariano Gonzalez. Uh, I'll welcome you to look at it in the zone. Um, and that's uh, that as the article explains we can use a uh, XJC utility of uh, JAXB to, to generate uh, generate Java classes from XML schema which could be an industry standard XML schema um, nowadays uh, maybe one can start uh, from a JSON schema instead and then there's uh, this other nice project JSON schema to Pojo which can easily um, generate a Java class from, uh, from JSON schema so anyway uh, however we, we obtain this Java class we can define import the Java class into, our, into a project so I've prepared already a Java data model project. This here I've uh, manually defined a couple of um, a couple of Java classes here uh, for and for domain objects such as address of order and order contains order lines etc. These were generated manually, so I also used Eclipse uh, or Endpoint Studio to generate the getters and setters of, uh, for these uh, particular uh, objects, as you can see. Uh, normally, this uh, this kind of um, classes would be would be controlled, uh, uh, version controlled naturally, uh, obviously, and, and, then, uh, and then saved in a Maven repository, which can be a local Maven repository for the enterprise, and then added to as a Maven dependency. So it's important when developing a common data model to, to keep it uh, correctly versioned and, uh, uh, and then keep it in a, as a separate entity from the integration they use it. So in uh, this, this uh, therefore, this um, new application only contains uh, um, this class definitions. It doesn't contain any, as you can see, it doesn't contain, it doesn't contain any flows. If I wanted to share flows, uh, I would have to do a Spring import uh, uh, into the to, to of the jar. Um, so that there will be anyway another another case. Uh, in this case, what I need to do is just to uh, jar this uh, this project that contains only Java classes. I've done it. Uh, I've generated it. You know, of course, it's very easy to do. It's just a matter of uh, doing um, an export as a jar file. So trivial. I've done this, and then I'm gonna use. Uh, import this jar as a external library into a client uh, new application and then uh, use this data model so let's see uh, how it's done it's very easy so i create a new project i call it test uh, java model this project i'm gonna add uh, the build path 
I'm going to add uh, uh, the jar file of the Java data model project. I've already prepared the jar file, so we choose uh, add external jar. Uh, and I chose uh, Java, Java data model dot jar. Uh, normally, obviously, in a, prof in a real situation, uh, the the project would be would be built by Maven with Maven, and then uh, this would be a Maven dependency. Uh, now that I have uh, this jar into um, the reference library, I I just see if I can. Uh, check if uh, this um, data Java data structure are visible from uh, from my application. So you start with the usual HTTP endpoint, very easy. Uh, define the standard uh, HTTP listener. Uh, call it that um, test um, Java data model. This is the URI, and um, and then I I, I introduce um, a data weave transformer here, and um, this in this transformer will attempt to hard code an address which was defined in this. Uh, in this project, so this is the address, very simple name, uh, street, etc. I will try to use this data structure. Uh, so I I don't map the input really. I just hard code something here in the output. So I'll define the metadata and now the the, the key point whether we can uh, have visibility on this imported uh, they uh, imported. Uh, class on the class path. So I will add the address, so let's call it delivery, delivery address. And create type. Um, the type is going to be a Java type. Uh, I, it's going to be, I click here, I select uh, a, either a Java object or a collection. In this case, I mean, just to show, I, I just choose a simple Java object now. Hopefully, I will see this address class, this class called address.java, um, class containing the address.java source address. And sure enough, I can see my class here, this uh, package called Mafganora uh, dot customer. So I select this class. And here, uh, as I expected, I see uh, the members, the member property of disposal of this bean. So I select that, and here we go. We have this um, this nice um, this nice structure available. So I can, uh, for example, well, if I click here, I get this, but I can really need this part. So I will just R code uh, Francesco Genora. and then I can uh, I call it uh, country. So this is just well, this is just a show uh, demo, so a short demo. So I, you, you can see I can I can map this. Uh, I just save it, and this is gonna be uh, with the output um, data type application slash Java. So to to output uh, some to return something. Um, let's say let's return in a JSON format. So I an object object to JSON uh, transformer here um, so if I invoke uh, this flow via HTTP uh, 
I hopefully should get a JSON document uh, corresponding to this uh, as response. Let's try. Uh, let's check again uh, what is my URI. Let's go to Postman. Um, of course, I need to deploy. Deploy this. Let's save. Let's run it. Now it's deployed, I can try putting this uh, service, this endpoint. Uh, let's make it a get request. And voila, there we have. We have this, uh, the expected result, so I could uh, effectively use uh, uh, a Java data model shared uh, across uh, a different uh, new application by a jar, a jar which packages uh, a dedicated new application that just contains uh, data models. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, this demo and uh, and I'll see you at next uh, my next video, hopefully soon. Thank you.